Assalamu alaikum guys. Welcome to my YouTube channel Live in Riyadh. Today we are going to visit the Seven Mosque which is located in the trench area northwest of Medina. It is three and a half kilometer far from the Prophet Mosque. First of all, we are going to visit the modern Masjid Al Khandaq which is connected to the Battle of Trench. The story behind this site is that the Battle of Khandaq was fought over here. Al Khandaq battle occurred in the year 5 Hijri. It was known as Al Khandaq relative to the trench dug by the Prophet ﷺ, northwest of Al Madina, aiming to deter the parties Al Ahza and stopping them from entering Al Madina. And now I'm going to visit Al Fatih Mosque, which is 100 meters to the west of Khandaq Mosque at the top hill. <laughs> This is Al Fatih Mosque, also known as Al Azak Mosque. It is built above a hill in the west part of Saleh Mountain. It was called Al Azak Mosque because it was where the Prophet ﷺ prayed during the battle. It was also called Al Fatih Mosque because Surah Al Fatih was revealed in that location as the battle's result ended in the triumph for Muslims. This is Masjid Al Salman Farsi. It is located south of Al Fatih Masjid, 20 meters from the base of Mount Saleh. It is named after Salman the Persian, a companion of the Prophet, who recommended digging a trench to fortify the city from an invasion. A striking feature of the mosques is their small size. It has just one hall at 7 meter long and 2 meter wide. Umar bin Al Khattab Mosque is 115 meter far from Salman Al Farsi Mosque and it is in front of the Jamia Khandaq. The details of its origin are vague, although its name indicates that the Umar bin Al Khattab, the second Khalifa, may have had prayed there. Ali bin Abi Talib Mosque is located in the east of the Khandaq Mosque on a small hill. This mosque has a length of 8.5 meter and a width of 6.5 meter. It is narrated that Ali bin Abi Talib joined the battle of trench here. Mosque of Fatima Zahra 
also known as Musad Ibn Mu'az Mosque. It is the smallest of the group and measures 4 by 3 meters. This mosque was built in the Ottoman era during the reign of Sultan Abdul Majid I. According to the historians, the real number of mosques was 6 and Masjid al Qiblatan was added to them, which is 1 km away from Masjid al Khanda. This mosque is important for the Muslims as it is the location where the first congregational salah was prayed following the change. During Zohar prayer, the Prophet ﷺ had led his companion when he was commanded to face towards the Kaaba by the following revelation in the Quran in Surah Al-Baqarah. Verily, we have seen the turning of your Muhammad's face towards the heaven. Surely, we shall turn you to a Qibla that shall please you. So turn your face in the direction of Al-Masjid Al-Haram at Makkah, and wheresoever you people are, turn your faces in that direction. The Prophet ﷺ turned around towards the Kaaba, and the Sahaba copied out of obedience. Thus, the Kaaba became the new Qibla of the Muslims for all time to come. Oh Allah.